Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the full ornate armor for Crack the Clue 2. You're going to need some items, and they are a spade, a pie dish, a raw herring, goblin mail, plain pizza, cheese, and a wooden shield. Do you note that we are going to be heading to the wilderness, between 14 and 15 wilderness. And for the final clue, which is the ornate helm, you cannot have anything equipped or any items in your inventory except plain pizza, the cheese, and the wooden shield. So before you get the last stab, make sure you bank everything. Now I am going to go in the order that the clues were released. So for example, clues one and two are pretty close to each other. And I did do clue one first, which is a little bit further away than Falador than clue two is. So if you want to get an efficient order, make sure you do clue two first, followed by clue one. But for the most part, you can still hit clue two on the way back from clue one. Overall, it shouldn't take you too long. And when you do get the full set of ornate, here are its stats. It's about the same as iron armor. I believe the ornate top is equivalent to an iron chain body. And this is good for both members and free to play. So free to play players can receive the full ornate gear. Make sure that when you finish this, if you are members, that you can store it in your player-owned house, save on some bank space, and that way you don't have to go and retrieve it every time you want it again. For traveling around, free-to-play players are going to want at least one to two teleports to Falador, and one to two teleports to Varrock. For pay-to-play players, you're going to want at least one teleport through your burning amulet. A combat bracelet teleport to the monastery. A teleport to house or teleport to Remington Teletab. And a teleport to Falador or teleport to Varrock to make things easier. All clues are pretty close to each other so you can run the distance. However, having teleports to each will make this a lot faster. I'm now going to show you the clue, followed by the answer. For the first clue, we're going to receive the ornate gloves and ornate boots. To receive these items, you'll need to make your way to Remington. You'll also need to have a spade and pie dish in your inventory. So make your way to Remington, and the fastest way to Remington is to use a Remington House Teletab for members, if you have one. For free to play, teleport to Falador, and then make your way south to Remington, where I am currently located. Once you get here, make sure you are east of the willow trees and south of the oak trees. And if you're on members world, Skippy will be here. On free to play, he will not be here. And once you're in this general area, with your spade, all you need to do is dig, and you'll receive the ornate gloves and ornate boots. The second clue, we're gonna receive the ornate legs. What you're gonna need to have in your inventory is a spade, and a raw herring. The fast way to get here is to teleport to Falador and make your way south to my location. And just east of the air altar, we're going to dig. So the air altar is located right here. And in front of this flower, I'm going to dig. I'm going to receive the ornate legs. For the third clue, we're going to receive the ornate top. You do not need to have any items or spades to receive this, as we will be using emotes. Make your way to the Black Knight's Fortress. The fastest ways to get here as a member are to use a combat bracelet and teleport to the monastery, or to use ancient magic and teleport to Lasser. For free to play, the fastest way to get here would be to teleport to Falador and make your way north and up towards the monastery, and then west 
like you're going to the Dwarven Mine, and then north again to the Black Knight's Fortress. Okay, once you get to the Black Knight's Fortress, head just north of the Evergreen here, and you can align yourself with the wall of the fortress, and what you're going to do is pop up your emotes, and shrug, and then cheer. Once you do that, the item will automatically appear in your inventory. The fourth clue brings us to the Wilderness by the Chaos Temple, where we'll receive the Ornate Cape. What you'll need is a spade and goblin mail. You do not need any other items for now, so feel free to bank them if you do not want to risk it. We are going to be in 14 to 15 Wilderness. The fastest way to get here on a member's world is to use your burning amulet and teleport to the Chaos Temple. As a free to play, you can teleport to Varrock and you make your way directly north. You teleport here on a member's world, or you are on a member's world in general, turn on protect from magic. Are there elder chaos druids who will attack you? They will not be here on free to play worlds. And once you get here just south of this tree, a little hard to see, make your way south until you hit this area where it's a dark rock and a light rock. And go ahead and dig with the goblin mail in your inventory. And you'll receive the ornate cape. For the final clue, we are going to receive the ornate helm. The helm is located south of Varrock, where I am located. Teleport to Varrock and head south. And if you're a low level, be careful of the dark wizards. And come to where I am located. And directly east of this oak tree, as you can see there's a few, directly east of the first oak tree between the two normal trees, we're going to do some emotes. You cannot have any items equipped, and the only items in your inventory have to be a plain pizza, cheese, and a wooden shield. So if you have anything else, go ahead and drop it for now. You can pick it up later if you want to. Make sure you only have these three items in your inventory and nothing equipped. What we're going to do is bow. Yes emote. and clap. You do it in that order, wise old man will appear and tell you to take this item and tell no one about it. The item is the ornate helm. Feel free to pick up the rest of your items if you want. Also note that if you do do something wrong, like you have an item in your inventory or something worn, the wise old man will still appear. He just will not give you the item. He'll say, I'm sorry, but you have no use to me. You want to store the ornate armor in your player round house? Head over to your armor case and go ahead and use the armor, any piece really, on the armor case, and it will now be stored. I hope you found this video useful, and as always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more.